Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review. Tonight we're taking a look at the NECA Toys, the Karate Kid Mr. Miyagi action figure. So this is from the original, you know, 80s Karate Kid movie. And this is a line that, um, I believe, uh, was it last? The last time they had a Comic-Con, uh, we were shown at these along with like the Golden Girls and everything. And I remember being pretty excited for them. Uh, the packaging is nice. It's your kind of standard retro style cardboard packaging. So it does look good in the box. Uh, the top you got Karate Kid, NECA, 14 and up, Mr. Miyagi. Uh, down here in the bottom, there's all the awesome people over at NECA responsible for the, the figure. On the side, we have this cool, you know, iconic image of Daniel. And then it just says Karate Kid. And on the back, we have an uh, image of the figure along with a little bit of a read-up. So if you do want to read that, go ahead and pause it. And then down here, this is what this the line was. It was Daniel, Mr. Miyagi, Johnny in his, uh, you know, Halloween gear. And then you had the Karate Championship 2-pack. So this is the big one that I think a lot of people wanted. Um, for me, it was the price point. With, with, with this line that kind of bummed me out. I found these really early when they first came out at a local comic book shop. And I think they wanted like, I, I think it was like $60 they wanted just for the figure. And then the two pack, I believe was like a hundred and something dollars. It was absolutely ridiculous. So I didn't end up picking up any of these until I found this at uh, Walmart. They started carrying them at Walmart and I picked up uh, Mr. Miyagi because he was like, you know, $29.99, which is a little bit more standard. So the price point really threw me off on these figures um, just with for, as far as what you get with the figure. Um, but yeah, let's get it open. Take a closer look. All right, so out of the packaging, this is what we get with the Mr. Miyagi. You do get two accessories. You get the bonsai tree. And this is sculpted nice. A little bit of paint on there. Nice um, shading within the paint the rest of it's pretty plain but that is a cool accessory to ha have and then we get some chopsticks with a little fly kind of painted in there so that's cool that's very iconic to the movie Fra you know the be careful with those they're obviously going to be pretty fragile and then you have the Mr. Miyagi figure which you know I like it um, I think they did a great job with the head sculpt on the figure I think it does look really a lot like the the actor uh, my eyes are a little bit wonky on mine but I think he did a pretty good job um, nailing you know Mr. Miyagi nice job on the hair I mean it's painted up at the top but we do get some more sculpting down here and I like how they kind of you know did the gray and black on the sides and the mustache and the goatee and all I think it looks good. And as far as his like, you know, um, jumpsuit kind of janitor style jumpsuit here, it, we do have the Velcro in the front, of course. Um, it is a little bit frumpy on him, but it's not too too bad. You do have Velcro as well on the back, so you know. But they did a nice job with the stitching work. I mean, there is some you know fraying here and there, but you know at this scale, I know it's pretty tough to get that done, especially at, at, at the price point. Well, I guess at this price point, it should be a little bit better, but you know, it still looks good on him. It still fits him well enough um, to, to have up on the shelf. It does kind of ride up on him a little bit, but I guess you could just kind of mess with that. The belt is a separate piece. It looks like you might be able to even unpeg it back here, but it looks like it's kind of glued in there. But I'm guessing, you know, that's just an option. You can make it tighter. Um, if you wanted to bring it down a little bit or bring it up because there is two different holes back here as you can see but overall I mean it looks good his shoes look good you got some nice sculpted laces in there and then uh, on the side there you go on the bottom now as far as his height he is shorter than the other um, retro figures he stands just about six and a half inches tall, maybe a little bit over that. And for his articulation, you do have a full twist at the head. You have a little bit down, a little bit side to side, uh, not a lot of movement. You basically just get 
um, you know, swivel. Unless there was some kind of awkward joint in there that I missed. No, yeah, that's it. Just a little bit of side to side, but not bad. I mean, that's that's good enough to, you know, get, get some nice um, poses. Uh, the arms do go out that much. They do go forward and back. They would go all the way around. There is a bicep swivel in there. We do just get a single bend, or it could be a double. Um, I can't. Maybe that is a double bend, but, I mean, you get about 90 degrees out of it, if that. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, my right arm is really tight, but, yeah, you get about that much bend out of the arm. Um, of course, you just have twist. That's all you got, you're going to get at the waist. There's, there is no ab crunch. The legs do go in and out. Of course, the pants will restrict that. You do go forward and back. Again, it's going to be restricted. There is a thigh swivel in there. You do have, uh, I'm guessing, probably just a single joint at the knee. And then down here, you can see the hinge. So we just get a hinge. So there's no swivel and there is no ankle rocker, which they really need to add to this retro line because these figures are hard to stand up. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if you are a Karate Kid a movie fan, um, you know, I definitely recommend this Mr. Miyagi and definitely the Daniel. I mean, I probably, uh, somewhere down the line, will pick those figures up. Just wait for the price to drop a little bit. I think $30 uh, is reasonable, you know, uh, for the figure. But, I mean, like I got my Ace Ventura, which, you know, was like 20 maybe around the same price. But he came with, you know, like three, four different alternate heads and all kinds of cool animals and accessories. Uh, same thing with my uh, Chevy Chase uh, Christmas vacation figure and then also with the uh, buddy figure as well. well. He didn't really come with a lot of accessories, but here's just a, a couple other NECA, you know, retro figures. So you can see that they did use a different uh, body for Mr. Miyagi here to kind of keep him in scale. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the NECA Toys Karate Kid Mr. Miyagi. Very cool pickup. It's going to be nice on the shelf. I'm going to just put them up with my other, you know, retro figures until I one day get Daniel, Johnny, and all the other figures within the line. But yeah, that was the review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on the next figure review. Take care.